<laughs> Mama Moo is just like uh, two things. Obviously, I need to react to the whole Maria album, and also I kind of want to react to Solar's video that she's about to post on Solashi Do, where she literally goes to a deserted island and tries to survive. I don't know if y'all have seen the trailers, but that's not gonna just be like a normal YouTube video that she does or one of her little vlogs. That is like a whole movie. The production, the sound quality, the sound effects, the editing, all seems like it's an actual show that they're broadcasting on on Korean television. But it's literally Sholashi Do. So let me know if y'all want to react to that. But as for today, we are reacting to Hwasa's LMM official song. Now I know you guys want me to see the visuals and the music video, and of course I do too. But before I get the visuals and see all that, I want to get a feeling for this song. I feel like visuals are supposed to accent off of the song. So it's only right that I appreciate her lyricism, her vocals, and the song itself before we react to the actual music video. So all that being said, today we're going to be reacting to Kwasa LMM Lyrics, the color-coded version. Subscribe if you're new here, like the video, and let's get into Kwasa LMM. The lyrics. Static. I'm sad. <laughs> Her song is too good. It matches this concept so well. Like the raspiness, the softness. It's like it's powerful, but she's barely even trying to get the notes out which I feel like is the entire emotion of a ballad. I'm soft for unhedging. I know this bitch is not about to make me cry at 7.30 in the morning. Hui mean H W I? She's saying Hui comfort me. Who's Hui? Is that like a short version of her own name? The album is called Maria, after all. Do you want to go somewhere? Ooh! Said, do you want to go somewhere even when we try we just hover in the same place <laughs> oh god Past us is distant, our hearts just become black. It's a love that's ending, it's a love that's dying, and like, they're just now deciding to walk away. Like, they're trying to make it work, but it's just, they already know it's not going to. There's nothing they can do to make, to fix it. But also, I just want to talk about her vocals and the cadence of the song. Amazing. Like, it's not even like, I don't want to describe it as a sad song, it's just like, the feelings that it resonates are deep. 
it, it makes you feel it to your core. And I don't know if that's the song or Huas' vocals. Something about it is just very strong. <laughs> Mama. A symphony. This song is too good. There's so many different elements that just keep adding keep adding onto it just to make the song that much more amazing. I liked the calmness of that part. It was like she was whispering to us, which I feel like made her point come across even stronger, even more. Into the long darkness, it feels like we're going to get thrown away. Is she talking about them as people, like they're losing themselves, or is she referring to the love is getting thrown away? What do y'all think? had an epiphany what if this whole time I've been thinking she's talking about a love interest but she's not even talking about like a love interest what if she's talking about how she feels about herself like maybe she's losing herself what does LMM stand for because after all this we have to think about what this album is called and about it's about Maria another side of her the side that she's afraid to show us maybe LMM is just supposed to be her struggle between Anhejin, Hwasa, and Maria. Uh, uh, what's happening? She can't end the song saying that. Flowers bloom even in the falling rain. So even when destruction is coming down around you, there's still beauty and strength that that grows or that can survive. Is she referring to herself as the flower? Ah. <laughs>
I hate everything. I loved the symphony additions onto the song. I feel like you could listen to the instrumental of the song and it would still make you want to cry. And then I feel like just the the way Hwasa sings and her vocals, the way the way she sings onto an instrumental like that just makes the emotion that ten times like stronger. I think the lyrics aren't actually referring to a love interest. I think she's talking about herself. Because I actually have seen some of the snippets from uh, the music video and I see her in like this this gown that's very plain and simplistic colored and she's walking around in nature. So I feel like that's just to... And when you're in nature, it's about like self-reflection, you know, you, how you feel on the inside. So I do actually think LMM by Hwasa is not about a love interest. It's about her relationship with herself. Subscribe if you're new here, like this video, let's get 400 likes, and I'll catch you guys on my official music video reaction to LMM. Also, down in the description is a link to the second channel, so go check that out too.